Hey, it's been a while since I've done one of these here. I'm usually standing up and I've been standing up more lately than usual uh, ever since the accident. First thing is, thanks everybody for the thoughts and prayers. It's been uh, quite an adventure, not in a good way here since October 7th and when I had the injury, but we're moving uh, in the right direction. Posted earlier that I met with a surgeon um, who's gonna be doing a skin graft. Uh, they're gonna shave part of my thigh and use part of that um, you know, of my thigh to cover up right next to it, uh, which is a 13 inch open wound and about four inches wide. So praying that that goes well on Monday, then two weeks I have to have it wrapped from ankle to hip. Um, and I cannot bend my knee for two weeks. So it's, uh, it's something that's gonna be touch and go to make sure the skin graft takes. If it doesn't, then I'm gonna have to do it again, which obviously we don't wanna do. And uh, apparently from all the research and everything else, skin grafting is uh, pretty painful when they take it off, but hey, it's much better than having this. I'll pull it up here. This has been my pet, my machine right here. Uh, sucks all the blood out of my thigh that's been grown. And so I don't have to worry about that hopefully come Monday. And so it's taken one step back, but then 100 steps forward. And then hopefully in two to four weeks, I can be uh, uh, back to normal. I mean, back to normal, but it's going to be, you know, touch and go with therapy and stuff like that. But it's huge, huge drive. So thanks, everybody, for thinking of me and and for your thoughts and prayers and just you know the thing i've learned about this and you know i'm trying to relate it to the mortgage industry here because i see a lot of credit reports obviously is the amount of cost of medical stuff which is enormous which i always knew but i didn't really know until now so just give you an example here and this is nothing against people in the medical industry because the people i've talked to and helped me have been outstanding people but the system is really, I, I don't see how it's sustainable, to be honest with you. Give me an example. I was in a Texas hospital and they were phenomenal. Um, but I went to one hospital and as soon as I got hurt and they couldn't help me there, so that airlifted me to this other hospital, which happens to be one of the top five in trauma in the US. So when they airlifted me, um, that helicopter ride, just that helicopter ride, which is 30 minutes, is thirty. It's twenty three thousand dollars. Okay. Then I stay at the other hospital. Once again, phenomenal people. The people have been phenomenal. I mean, just awesome people. Um, and then basically sitting in the hospital for five to six days, one hundred and eighty three thousand dollars. Okay. That doesn't include the surgeries. That's just a hospital stay. That doesn't include the surgeries, the medicine to put me underneath, uh, any of that stuff. Okay, that's all separate bills coming on top of that. So I'm getting the bills here for 15. I'm getting another one for 10. I'm getting another one for seven. I don't even know where they're coming from, to be honest with you. Like I said, I've always known this, but I really haven't known it and gone through it like this. Um, and it's the number one reason why people file in bankruptcies in this country. So the system itself, to me, just looking at it from a practical, common sense perspective, business perspective, it is not sustainable. And to me, it's very worrisome. You know, last week I had a couple of things. I had to go to emergency room again. I was getting certain chest pains and all this other stuff that was happening. And uh, thank goodness I'm over that part. But basically six hours in the emergency room and still didn't get to see anybody. I just left eventually. So the whole thing of, um, you know, when you're trying to get your finances ready and you're trying to get this ready, and I know everybody's got insurance, but insurance premium is going through the roof. But as it keeps on getting worse and worse, there's no way that these costs could be covered and still have a system that runs um, and really takes care of people. Uh, and a lot of people getting out of the industry too, especially over the last year or two, what's going on and you know, COVID and all that stuff. Um, but I just wanna make very clear, the people in the industry have been phenomenal. The people who've helped me have been phenomenal. Uh, very helpful, very caring, uh, very detailed. They're just, the system that they're in, I scratch my head because, you know, just from a normal P&L, basic common sense standpoint, I don't see how it's sustainable, to be honest with you. Um, so if you're trying to get mortgage and you're trying to get all this other stuff, you know, definitely try, try to negotiate with the people who are sending you these bills to bring them down. Obviously, send them everything you can to the insurance company. Um, but I've seen people file bankruptcies left and right over this over the last 20 years, almost 20 years in this business. So anyway, that's my two cents. Um, hopefully that helps somebody. If you need any, you know, questions answered or anything else, just comment down below, shoot me a private message or text me at 423-262-9229. Next Monday, I don't know, you know, I have to go in, I have to be there by seven. Then I get out of surgery sometime in the morning. 
uh, and then you know we have to go from there and see how it goes. So yeah, I'll be available, but it might be a little bit slower uh, responding. But I'm getting to that point. I'm just looking forward to finally getting this hole in my leg closed up finally and uh, really on the path of taking the next steps and being healthy. So um, once again, you got any questions or anything else? Our team is, you know, our team is really uh, amazing and, uh, you know, they jump through everything to get stuff closed. I mean, last month we had a banner month again. Uh, this year we're closing over 457. We're at this point, 457 loans already closed this year. We're going to hit 500. I'm not saying I brag. I'm just saying I'm bragging on my own people because they're phenomenal people. And if you need anything, just uh, just jump out. And, hey, and I need some help paying some of these bills here. So anybody you know, any family and friends, this is a, a cheap plug. Please let us know. Uh, we can jump on it and be looking to refinance, looking for cash out refinances. Anything else, just please let us know where we can jump on it right away and, and see how we can help, okay? I'll talk to you soon. Thanks so much.